Hello, boys and gal. This tutorial is going to assume a basic understanding of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. This is not a completely beginner-friendly tutorial. If you are a beginner, try to understand the concepts and general workflow and apply them to the compositing software you're familiar with, like After Effects. Though I've tried to make it as friendly as possible without being exhaustive. Also, everything seen here can be done in the free version of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. No purchase necessary. I'm going to teach you two different methods, and here's what they look like. My project is a 1080p 24fps timeline since this is animation standard. Go into the effects panel and drag a new fusion composition onto the timeline. The default clip duration is 5 seconds. Your timeline will now be blank, regardless of previous media since we haven't now put anything into the clip. Click on the fusion tab on the bottom and drag a background node onto the board. I like to keep my nodes nice and neat, so right click and under arrange tools make sure all the boxes are checked. Turn the background nodes alpha to zero. Drop a fast noise node and merge it to the background. You can use hotkey buttons 1 and 2 to preview specific nodes on the two monitor outputs in the display. This is helpful for making quick edits down the road. Use shift plus spacebar to bring up the search bar. Look for a color curves and create a high contrast curve by dragging downwards. Alter your fast noise node to really make the white shapes pop. Turn up your seed rate slightly to animate them over time automatically. Unlock the XY scale to stretch out the shapes and elongate them. Here are my exact settings. Pause the video if you need to to copy them. Drag an ellipse node down, connect the blue output to the fast noise output. This creates a mask. Drag the ellipse mask outward and feather it slightly. Back under the curves node, continue adjusting until the white shapes are nearly isolated. Add another background node and connect the color curves to it. It should mask it automatically. This is going to be our coloring node. Change the background node type to gradient. Create a rainbow gradient. The easiest way is to simply move along the top of the color window and select Roy G. Biv, which is an American acronym for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, the main visible colors of the rainbow. I added a few more colors just for fun. Adjust the start and end points, either using the inspector or drag the visible path in the output window. Make sure repeat is set to repeat. Drag it real close together to get a repeating rainbow effect. Next, add a color corrector, which is sort of like a really powerful HSL slider, to bring up the gamma, lightening the colors, and reduce their saturation. Under the Options tab, check the Pre-Divide Post Multiply box to lock the changes to the node and not the entire end result. Oh, I forgot to add a directional blur after the curves. This helps smooth out those shapes a bit. Add a glow after the color corrector, decrease the size and glow amount slightly. Add a corner position node to fit the rays into the corner like so. I went back to the rainbow gradient node and set the gradient type to radial instead of linear for a more perspective looking rainbow effect. I continue to tweak the values until they look the way I want. Having a reference to imitate is handy to achieve your desired result. Back in the edit page, set the clip's composite mode to screen via the inspector. Here's what I ended up with. Let's go to the next version. Working from previous version's base, we'll start at the directional blur node and add three color generator nodes. Drag both the yellow and blue outputs from the directional blur node to create a mask. The first color generator node will be all green. Slide it to the right, should be at 1.0. Do the same for the blue and red outputs. Make sure to remember both the yellow and blue cables are attached to the color generator nodes. This is super important. Merge the blue and green nodes by dragging their outputs together and set their merge apply mode to screen.
We can now connect the merge 3 node to the rest of the node tree from the previous version and have our rays almost ready to go. But first we need to add a transform node between the blue and red color generators. Drag the blue transform to the right and the red transform to the left, offsetting their colors just a little bit. You can see in the output we're already creating a chromatic aberration effect. Make your edits to the nodes as you see fit for your desired results. And return to the edit page and see this mess. I realized you need to make sure each color generator node has the option multiply by mass checked in the settings tab. Ah, that's better. Set the fusion comp to screen and you're done. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, slap a like. If you didn't, but know someone who might benefit, give it a share in your favorite art discord. You can get access to a free sample of the Sunrays on my Gumroad, which you can use in your own creations with attribution. A premium version is also available that contains project files. If you want to support me directly, you can join the Lizard Legion by becoming a channel member for exclusive channel perks like early access to videos, livestream emojis, livestream archives, and exclusive content. Until next time.